so guys the very first thing all you have to do is just select the photo or just capture the photo in such a way that you are just sitting on the ground now we'll select the photo by using the quick selection tool just click on this plus icon and just roll all over the subject's body to make it selected you can increase the size of the brush from here and just increase the size of the brush and just roll all over the model's body to make it selected you can use also you know pen tool to select in a proper and precise way and just right click on it and select layer copy to make a duplication of the selection so you can also press ctrl j from the keyboard to make a duplication so here you can see i have already made a cut out of this image now we're gonna change the background and just add a similar effect or the very trending color effect like just you know Bran Adama who is a very famous Instagram photographer so we will edit this photograph just like him so let's open the background here is the background which is very similar to that now we're gonna just drag it and drop over here so the very first thing all we're gonna do is let's crop the image so select the crop tool and select 8 is to 10 ratio which is the perfect Instagram ratio which we want for our in upload so we're gonna just crop the image so let's select this portion up to here this would be pretty much perfect i guess yes now it is looking perfect now just hit ok and just make an enter now make a duplication of the background layer or the original layer now here let's select the background layer and go to the edit select the free transform or press ctrl d and just press the shift and alt key and just drag it to enlarge the background image now we're gonna just paste this photograph near this so all we're gonna do is let's just increase the size of this yes now it seems to be kind of perfect Now the next thing all we're gonna do is let's just first of all we will just we're gonna just make a, add a layer mask on this layer or just before getting to making any adjustment just press ctrl L from the keyboard or just press levels from the adjustment layer click on this below icon and just roll from the left to right until the you can just make a perfect black color you know shading from here just pump out a bit of shadows or the highlights from here now this one is looking very much closer and kind of you know cool now just merge both the layers now here we will just add a layer mask before adding the layer mask we're gonna just duplicate the layer and just press ctrl u from the keyboard and just press command u or ctrl u now click on this icon and just select the yellowish color from here just reduce the saturation of this and also the red tone just a little bit now just hit ok now we are gonna just add a layer mask on this select the brush tool increase the size of the brush now just delete it from this portion because we want the yellow details from here so we are gonna just keep this as original and just delete it from here Now this one is looking kind of very cool so all we're gonna do is let's just uh, merge both the layers right click on it and select merge layers and add again a layer mask on it select the brush tool and again let's just delete it 
somewhere over here select the brush tool and select the black color of the layer mask and just add uh, you know kind of you know like this uh, just delete it from here now this one is actually looking kind of very similar and merging it with the background let's again select this white color and just paint it from here now this one is looking kind of very cool all we're gonna do is let's just uh, here we will on the background layer we're gonna add a black la black layer so just to select the uh, solid color from the adjustment layer and select the black and just change the blending mode to multiply now here you can just decrease the opacity of this select the brush tool and just click on this layer mask and just erase it from here select the black color and just erase it from this portion now this one is kind of looking very much perfect now we're gonna just do the same process and just select this area you can just erase it select the eraser tool and just now this one is looking very perfect So you can see the difference it is really looking very very amazing guys now you can just keep this on the top of all the layers yes now this one is looking very much natural which we actually want select again the brush tool and just remove it from here erase it a little bit from this portion yes now it is looking perfect now just all you have to do is just uh, here we're gonna just pump out the shadow so the next thing we're gonna do is press control levels from the keyboard i click on the below icon and just add a little bit of highlights and a blackness now just duplicate it and just place it below this background layer and add a clip clipping mask on the same on the background layer so it would be you know merged and look very perfect so now the next thing we're gonna do is just uh, here we will just increase the size of this layer so press ctrl t enlarge the image yes now this one is looking very much closer let's again just uh, increase the size a little bit all right now this one is looking kind of very perfect now the next thing we're gonna do is just again press ctrl l and just make more darker now you can see the difference this one is actually looking very 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 closer to the you know, brightness and contrast that of you know model image now the next thing the final thing is that just merge all the layers right click on it and select merge layers before merging all we're gonna do is just uh, blur the background so just right click on it and select apply layer mask just duplicate the layer go to the filter select the blur and just to select the box blur just add a little bit of you know, blur to the background and just hit ok now again add a layer mask on this layer select the brush tool and just remove it from the from this portion because here we want actually the details perfectly so just keep it as it is 
let's select this layer so let's select the this ladder and just remove it from here so select the brush tool click go to the layer mask and just delete it from here also delete it from this portion Now this one is looking very very perfect and original. Now just all you have to do is just merge all the layers, right click on it and select merge layers. And just press the crop tool to crop the image. Now again duplicate the image go to the filter select the camera filter from there then just go to the vignette tab that is here and just add a little bit of you know, vignette from the down portion and just add a round bit add a little bit of feathers and just hit ok now add a layer mask on this and select the brush tool and just remove it from this portion now this one is looking because we don't want the black or vignette on this portion so we're gonna just erase it now this one is looking very cool right now just merge all the layers right click on it and select merge layers again just go to the filter select the camera and we're gonna just add a little bit of you know adjustment on this photograph so first of all we're gonna do is just go to the blue primary color and just add to minus 16 and just add a contrast a bit of contrast increase the highlights or just decrease some highlights increase the shadows increase some whiteness now add a bit of you know decrease some blackness from the image now just go to the hsl tab from there hue select the hue and just select the red tone and select the orange color and just make the perfect skin tone select the luminescence you can just adjust it from here now this one is looking very very perfect guys let's again select the luminescence from here just add a little bit of luminescence this is the brightness now again go to the hue and just select the green color or the yellow tone from here and just change it the yellow color to minus 100 select the green tone and just to make it to perfect green which is a perfect you know instagram or the you know brian adam uses this kind of color effect in his photos so we're gonna just make this kind of green over here and just select the aqua color and just make it to equise color And again let's select this aqua color and just change it to bit of you know aqua color just a little bit don't add too much of you know aqua or the blue tone 
now this one is looking kind of very perfect now go to the blue and just select this a little bit curve and just add a curve from here again just go to the hue and saturation and just move the cursor to kind of you know yellow to tone now we're gonna just add a sharpness on the photograph so let's just select the sharpness from here add a clarity on the image and just hit ok now your photograph is totally complete now if you want to add some more you know the particles or the falling leaf you can always add it from here so let's just add some of the particles or the falling leaf you can delete it the unwanted or the bigger particles now this one is actually looking very very amazing guys and looking very cool so guys i hope you will have enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then just press the like button and if you're still not subscribed then subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of our videos and presets also visit our website that is www.ashvirgoisense.com from there you can download backgrounds, camera presets, lightroom presets, loops and many more photo editing as well as video editing stuff for free also guys don't forget to check out our second website that is filterpreset.com on that website also you're gonna find the more and a premium collection of presets just for free so guys go and check it out that website it will take some time to upload content over there and also guys don't forget to follow me on instagram just have ashfish creation so guys thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video till then guys be creative and be awesome